What is up guys? Bigger Footy down here. We are back on the Desolation map. And we're back downtown. Yes, I'm I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I'm sorry, I admit it. I wanna finish this oh I don't wanna finish, but I really wanna work on the skyscraper these days. I'm super motivated to do so. So whenever I get a motivation to build something, I go all in on it because you never know when that's uh that motivation is gonna leave you or if it ever it will come back. So you really gotta, you know, strike while the iron is hot. So now that I want to work on this downtown skyscraper, I'm going to do it. It might get boring on this channel sometimes, I don't know. I mean, if you saw Bean Builds to Beats yesterday, then, uh, you know, I was working in here on that video as well. And I did all this on camera. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out. Oh, the Minnesota. Oh, what can I say about Minnesota that hasn't been said about the angels in heaven? <laughs> okay. I love me some Minnesota. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going to be working on some interiors today. You know, these are townhomes, and they're more like modernistic townhomes. So I'm trying to go for a different kind of feel than I'm used to. More modern furniture, stuff you'd see in Ikea, maybe. I don't know, <laughs> okay? You know, but um, I'm going to be using more carpets in this build, I think, just to, I don't know, to spice things up a little bit. I tried to get, like, more open floor plan, but, you know, there's not a lot of space on here, so... I had, couldn't do it as open as I'd liked, but uh, you know, it's coming out okay, decently. Not exactly what I envisioned in my head, but it's coming out, so we're going to run with it and see what comes out. This is the first one. This is the prototype, so if it doesn't work out, you know, we have seven more that I can tweak. Okay, so what's, what day is it? Today is Monday. Of course it is. Monday is creative question of the week time. You guys, this is my favorite part of the week, guys. I always say that, my favorite part of the week. Be sure you guys are asking creative questions in the comment section. I want some new people. It feels like we've got the same people asking questions. And no, nothing against you guys asking questions. You guys are bringing great questions. I really do appreciate them. I really love the questions you're asking. But I'd like to see some, some fresh blood around here. Uh, remember, guys, all you have to do is type a few sentences. And then, uh, you know, that's all you have to do. Press send, okay? <laughs> creative question of the week could be about anything. Anything you want to talk about. I mean, I mean anything, guys, all right? There's no topic that's taboo. It's just if it's it's, if it's raunchy or whatever, then no, of course, right? But, um, you know, whatever you want to talk about. So leave your creative questions of the week in the comment section, please. Okay, let's get into it. Today's creative question of the week comes from ArkhamGuy215. See, I told you the same people over and over. And he asks, how do you feel about the confirmed remaster of Call of Duty 4? Oh, here we go. All right, Call of Duty fanboys, plug your ears, <laughs> your muffs. No, no, seriously. If you are a fanboy, or if you love the Call of Duty series, I should say, please, guys, hear me out. That's all I ask. All right, you don't have to dislike the video. You don't have to stop watching. Listen to what I have to say, and then uh, think about it. Because I have been around since the very beginning. Yes, that's right. I, well, I didn't get the first Call of Duty when it came out. Uh, I went back. Okay, when Call of Duty Four: Modern Warfare came out. I was all over it. I've been playing video games for like 20 something years up until that point. And first person shooter was probably my favorite genre of video game ever. So when Call of Duty 4 Modern War Warfare came out, I can tell you with absolute certainty, with no reservations, that it changed everything. It changed first person shooters. Like for the better or for worse, whatever you think, it changed them. I thought it was for the better. I had never seen anything like it. At any moment, all you had to do was turn on your Xbox and you get plopped into this war where you had to use strategy, you had real guns, each realistic military gun had realistic recoil. It had hardcore mode, something that was pretty much unheard of at the time in video games. Hardcore mode, oh, I loved it so much. I spent days. If I told you how many days I logged in that game, you wouldn't believe me, okay? I played the heck out of that game. It was the best thing that ever happened. It made me say, oh, you know what? GoldenEye 007 on the N64 is not that good, okay? It made me say that, and if you are an old school gamer, you know what kind of statement that is. Okay, that's a big statement. So yes, Call of Duty Modern 4, Modern Warfare changed the whole shebang, okay? And it was on top for so long, but then uh, World at War came out. And, you know, there was a slight downgrade. You know, they added zombies or whatever, and it was great. The zombies were great. But uh, it took a little hit as far as quality of gaming went. You know, and then it was... What came after that? Was it Modern Warfare 2 after that? 
I think it was Modern Warfare 2 after that. I forget now. There's been so many. There's been so many, you know, ghosts and uh, advanced warfare, blah, blah. Every single Call of Duty that has come out since Modern Warfare 4, since Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, <laughs> has taken a hit in quality. And I'll tell you what the why it is taking a hit. Call of Duty 4 was immersive. It was realistic. Now, of course, it's a video game, so it's not realistic, realistic. It was a battlefield realistic. But it offered a semblance of realism to an arcade shooter that anyone could just pick up and play. Yet the, the people who would use strategy, who were intelligent, who had good reflexes, they would uh, dominate. Okay? But every single Call of Duty that's come out since then has been focused less on strategy more on how fast you can move the stick you know your reflexes and so it's taken away it went from military simulation to halo you know whoever is fastest which okay if you like that sort of thing fine but it's not what call of duty is supposed to be so it's taken a hit every single year it's gone worse and worse and finally the game development company is just flat out admitting it okay okay guys we're not going to sell this game. This game's not going to sell very well unless we release 4 with it. So that's what we're going to do, right? It's like they've completely given up. They're like, okay, we get it. Our game sucks now, <laughs> okay? It's just, it's it's meant for kids on Call of Duty, or on uh, Code Red, you know, H hopped up on the juice, <laughs> okay? Uh, it's all Twitch, you know, Twitch movements, and it's it's not fun anymore. At least for me. These are my opinions, anyway. So, yeah, they're trying to repackage it and try to get the... the the old school gamers to come back, you know, it's a blatant attempt, but it's not going to work just because of the cost, guys. I don't think, I don't, th if it's a, uh, someone told me it's a hundred something dollars to get both of them. Not, no thanks. No thanks. But I think this really just goes to show you, there's something to learn from this, guys. It goes to show you that it's all about branding. It's all about marketing. And a lot of us just fall for this elementary way to confuse you to lie to you because what happens is you, you you start the call of duty franchise you start it somewhere i started call of duty 4 modern warfare some people started at black ops whatever okay and you really like that game and there's a new one out every single year so you keep buying this game not because the new one is good or better in any way but because it has the name, Call of Duty. And you remember, oh, I love that Call of Duty game. I'll get the next one. And even though it doesn't hold your attention for as long a time, even though it's not as fun, even though it's a slight downgrade, they may have upgraded the graphics, but the gameplay has suffered with every successive game. But it doesn't matter because it's been programmed into your mind that, yes, Call of Duty, this is what I need to be playing is Call of Duty. So if they can do that with a game, what else can they market to you guys? With a, If they can make you shell out $60 a year based on marketing, what else can they convince you to do? Can they convince you how to vote? Convince you what kind of car to buy? Convince you what kind of life to lead? What we don't realize is we are extremely susceptible to programming. And they program us in so many different ways through books, through TV, through magazines, through movies, through radio, through uh, YouTube. You know, we we're getting programmed to think a certain way and do a certain thing. And the people behind us are companies who stand to make a profit. You know, and the days of offering a, a package that people want to buy have been replaced by days of offering people marketing that they want to buy. Just look at Apple. Look at the entire Apple Corporation. They have put out inferior products for for higher prices than their competitors. And people are just so, sucking it all up. Why? Because of a, an aggressive, catchy marketing campaign. So guys, please, you got to use some discernment. You know, when you're at the store and you're thinking about what game to buy, why don't you read some reviews? And don't read some reviews from, from uh, fanboys. Come on. They're going to say that, like what, like I said, they're in love with the franchise. They're going to buy it no matter what. I have a bunch of friends like that. And not just with Call of Duty. 
You know, I have Nintendo friends who only buy Nintendo games, even though it's obvious that they fell in, they've fallen off years ago. But uh, they'll just stick to it, you know. And it's it's kind of sad to see that people are so susceptible to brand name recognition. It's like buy a product because it's good, not because you feel obligated to, because you were convinced to by the media, or by some some crazy sense of duty. Not Call of Duty, and not the D O O D I E duty. <laughs> okay, I mean, like, uh, how, can, how else can I put this? Is the message s- sinking in right now, guys? <laughs> You're being manipulated. You're being manipulated. I mean, look at Battlefield. That's what that's what I'm talking about, guys. Battlefield basically saw the the formula that Call of Duty is, has been using for year after year after year. And they said, how can we take this formula and turn it upside down and take all the weaknesses of this franchise and, you know, use that to our advantage, make them strengths. And that's exactly what Battlefield does. It takes all the the shortcomings of Call of Duty and it amps it up and makes it awesome. The only problem with Battlefield is that it's made by EA and they will try to suck every single penny that they can out of it they'll charge for servers they'll charge huge huge dollar figures for for dlc so it's a shame that battlefield is you know created by ea uh you know but dice does a great job with that series it's what everything that call of duty for modern warfare wanted the series to go in you know, it's Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare set the tone. They're like, this is a mill sim that's a, also a casual shooter, right? It was the best of both worlds. And they tried to cash in on that and they tried to, they go, they went more and more towards casual, more and more towards casual, less and less towards sim, less and less towards sim, until we got what we have now. And it's just a free for all with people that can reload in less than one second. Yes, less than one second, reload. You know, you got 60 bullets, reload. 60 bullets, reload. It's ridiculous. There's no strategy. You don't have to time when you reload. You can run around like your Kenyan sprinter at all times. You don't get fatigued. Now you can fly. Now you can fly. Why didn't you just stick to Halo, Halo people? (laughs) Right? Why didn't you stick to Halo? Look what you've done to a beautiful series. So to answer the question, what do I think of them packaging Modern Warfare (laughs) 4? I keep getting it backwards. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. What do I think about it? I think it's another marketing gimmick. And now they're trying to rope in the, the people they lost, you know? They lost people out of these like eight or nine games that came out. They lost a lot of their fan base because people like me are just like, what are you putting? You're putting out rubbish. I'm not going to buy that. So now they're trying to go in the opposite direction and try to convince the older players that, you know, to come back. But uh, hopefully you, me, and whoever else is smart enough to see through these stupid shenanigans, <laughs> okay? It's a stupid shenanigan is what it is. Oh man, it's so aggravating. So aggravating. So no, I will not be buying it. Even though I love Modern Warfare with all my heart. You know, if there's a way for me to get it for cheap, I might just do it. I don't know. But I'm not I'm not paying for a piece of turd uh, advanced super... <laughs> what is it called this year? Call of Duty Future Advanced Super Futuristic Modern Warfare whatever it is. Six. Okay, no thanks. I think I'll pass on that. <laughs> All right? Infinite. Oh, good, good. Good, good. I'm just... I'm face palming right now. I'm, excuse me. All right, that's going to be my answer, Okay. Uh, if you're a Call of Duty fanboy, wake up. Seriously, wake up. You know, have you been hit in the head with a hammer? I sure hope not. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be the episode. What would you guys think of my building? Did it come out like futuristic? <laughs> Modern? <laughs> Infinite, I mean? Uh, I don't know. I got a lot of work to do. A lot of tweaking. Next time you see it in here, we'll have a finished uh, floor and we can get some feedback from you guys on uh, what you think it needs or what I did right, what I did wrong and uh, all the shenanigans all the shenanigans um, what else do I have to say I, I wanted to say something else I feel like I forgot a lot, I wanted to say a lot but I feel like I forgot it <laughs> oh man, oh well that's just how it goes sometimes uh, I'm going to keep working on this and um, yeah, that's all, that's all I got to say all right, so leave your creative questions of the week in the comment section. Remember, guys, we also have comment of the week going now. So, you know, leave comments and uh, maybe you'll get highlighted on comment of the week each Friday. 
Of course, Creative Questions each Monday. And uh, we'll have some fun reading off your comments. I'm trying to get user interactivity, guys. I'm trying to get you going. You guys already leave a bunch of comments, but I'm trying to get you know the the people who watch the videos but are kind of shy, you know, they don't necessarily put comments in the comment section. I'm trying to get them involved, you know. Come on, get involved, guys. This is a community here, and there there are no stupid questions. There are no stupid comments. You know, we're all in this together. Okay. All right. So. I think I'm done. Yeah, let's do a little zoom out and uh, we'll say goodbye. I love the zoom out. This is my favorite part. I love zooming out. <laughs> All right, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. As always, happy Minecrafting. Peace.